Hi y'all, I'm Maddie, the Director of Children and Youth. I'm excited to continue diving into Mark 9 with you today. We're going to be looking at verse 35. It says, Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and servant of all. Read it one more time. Anyone who wants to be first must be very last and servant of all. Wait, Jesus, like, what are you talking about? Why would I want to be last to be first? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Of course I want to be first. I want to be first in my job. I want to, maybe you want to be first so that maybe your kid is first, so they have the most opportunities for them as they continue to grow. In today's culture, being the first is typically seen as the best. Jesus, maybe he doesn't understand the world we're li living in today. And I hear you, this passage is kind of confusing. But Jesus is once again turning the kingdom upside down. These ideas that we have, he's turning them upside down. He's telling the disciples that to be first, we must put others before ourselves. We're to come to a position of servant heartedness, not with selfish desires. Not a feeling that if I do this for them, then maybe I'll get something in return. And sometimes that can be hard. But what does that look like in our lives today? How do we take a posture of being very last and servant of all? Maybe you have a journal next to you. Write down what are ways that maybe you could be a servant of all. Because the words that Jesus is talking about are so important. But it's most important to remember that Jesus is with us in it all. We get to do all we do because of the truths that he gives us. We bear the cross daily so we can better love the world that he has put us in, this exact place. It's not going to be easy every day, but Jesus is with us in it all. That is a reminder, Jesus is with us in it all. I pray you have a great day.